previously. Is this where Bambi's mom went? Let's continue! I had to reset the bloody thing. They're just standing there, creeping me out, blinking. The weirdos. Well, let's go do what the princess told us. She wants us to dig holes, and gosh darn it, we will dig holes. What gets bigger the more you take away? I knew the towel riddle because that's one that I ask people and try and confound them. But this one, I think I know the answer to it, I just can't remember. Ooh! What is this? Let's immediately dig some holes. This is my territory now. What did the little orphan rock Annie say to her friends? It's a hard rock life for us. It's a hard rock life for us. If you like my singing. Because it never stops. Ooh. I wonder if there's any treasure inside. I'll open it up and find out then. Again, this one. There's some more sticks. Mr. Unicorn Corner will be so happy. Well, would you look at that? It's an abandoned wheel. These puns are just awful. She complained about everyone else's puns. How dare she? Let's see if we can get down here. Oh, we can! Wow, we can explore loads now. Look where we are. So many places to dig. So little time. Let's see, can we go anywhere else? Oh, and that takes us back there. Okay, it's all starting to make sense. It is. The inhalation of smoke is said to cause lung cancer. Why have you just gone so serious? You tell a pun about a rock, and then you talk about lung cancer. There must be something here, otherwise what is the point in this tiny little bit? It's highly suspicious. That rock over there swallowed a tree. Oh, it's you. Would you mind leaving? It's not very nice. I was just strolling through. I'll get off out of your hair, lickety split. Thank you. I expected a guest soon. A very overworked sphinx. It's embarrassing enough facing her after losing my title of Punner of the Month without having one of the sources of my downfall just lounging about all nonchalant like. I held that title for six straight months, you know. Oh, wow. Those award plaques are always so dashing. I really am very sorry. I'll be on my way now. Girl, you can't be punner of the month. No one can beat my punning skills. Bye. Ah, it's a bat. Bats are super cute and adorable. You have no reason to be scared of bats, Wendy. You want me to talk to the holes? Genius Wendy strikes again. So we went outside, dug a hole like the princess told us to. Now would you look at that? That's the answer. Oh gosh darn it, popsicle lollipops moon pies. My foot is stuck in a hole. Wait, it was only deep enough for my foot to fit because I took out so much dirt. That's the answer. Let's go tell her the great news. <laughs> it's a hole, okay? It's a stupid hole. That's your answer. Oh wow, that's great. I can't believe you got it. I guess it's only fair for me to help you now. Besides, us riddle champions have to stick together. What's your name, anyways? Wendy, can we please go back now? Well, I don't really want to. But honestly, I'd feel better leaving this place too. Let's get out of here before the bandits get us. Oh, bandits? Really? 
Well, hopefully it's just a rumor. Come on, let's go. Oh, that's it. We're doomed now. I knew it. <laughs> well, look what we have here. Are you two twins? You look tasty. Leave us alone. Not a chance. You're coming with us. We've been mighty hungry these past few days. Your kidneys will taste nice with some seasoning. <laughs> kidneys. Whoa. Chill out, Bandit One. I think that's more than a little extreme. I mean, we only ran out of supplies a few hours ago, and we're going to your grandma's for dinner later. You'll ruin your appetite. <laughs> you know what this room is? A star room. This is where the villagers would keep their food until they were ready to eat it. <laughs> Seriously, Bandit One, this cannibalism stuff is getting out of hand. You're not even menacing at this point. Just creepy. Oh, bother. I'm scared, Alona. Why did I have to come here in the first place? Oh, oh, I know what would cheer you up. What if we told riddles to pass the time? How about this one? I went into the woods and got it. I sat down to seek it. I brought it home with me because I couldn't find it. What is it? Splinter. Ugh. I guess doing riddles is better than imagining my impending seasoning. Besides, I've heard this one. It's a splinter. Yep. Okay then. How about this one? I'm the part of the bird that's not in the sky. I can swim in the ocean and yet remain dry. What am I? Shadow? That's a hard one. It's a shadow, right? You got that one. How about one more? No legs have I to dance. No lungs have I to breathe. No life have I to live or die. And yet I do all three. Fire! That one's easy. A fire! Wow, you're good. Do you like solving riddles? They seem to keep popping up whether I like them or not. But riddles are amazing. They get your brain to think and push your intelligence that through the roof. What else would you do with your spare time? Uh, I don't know. Dig a hole? Well, digging holes isn't going to get you out of here this time. Our hands are kind of tied up here. Gee, thanks for that bit of information. Got any useful ideas or is your brain too full of riddles to actually think properly? Ooh, sassy. Wait, do you smell that? It smells like smoke. You're right, there is smoke. I think while you've been standing here, the candle has been burning through our ropes. Quick, let's get out of here while we can. Oh, yeah. That was hecka lucky. Oh, I'm so glad we finally arrived. Let's go find your parents. Okay, are you sure? I'm getting the feeling that there's no coming back from that decision. Nah, let's go explore. Okay, that's fine. Come talk to me when you're ready to meet my makers. I want to go to the bandits. I want to see if we can get the treasure. Okay, we set the entire place on fire. Okay. So we still can't get the treasure, but the entire place is on fire. Okay. But I guess that um, bandit who's a cannibal is just chowing down right now. Okay, girl, let's go. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I like how I've still got my shovel. Uh, 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 um. Which one of you is a loner? Oh, it's not important. Who wants to marry Prince of the Hill tomorrow? Make the decision quick. There's a dress fitting scheduled within the hour. Hurry up. I'm busy you now. Sitting here being kingly. <laughs> I don't have all day. Just flip a coin or something. This is why rock, paper, scissors exist. To make life-changing decisions through a contest of arbitrary hand motions. What can I say? He's right. 
He's the king. He's always right. And whichever one of you marries Prince of the Hill will have to listen to him in the future. Remember, the man is always right. It's just science. Wrong. That's the stupidest. Can we take a few minutes to think about this? This is the most absurd, messed up situation I've ever been in and I've run errands for a riddle happy tree spirit. Have you really been living with those people your entire life? Unfortunately, yes. Now help me try to think of a way out of this. I don't know, fake moustaches. They don't seem too good with faces. Or I know, how about some more riddles? Why are you asking me? Heck, you might as well ask that ditzy unicorn for help. Last thing she gave me was some sparkly craft supplies. Ugh, I hate glitter. It gets everywhere. You can never get it off. Oh my god, she gave you a bottle of fairy dust? That can be used to transport us to either another time or another realm. Or maybe just teleport you to the nearest nail salon. She wasn't really clear about it, honestly. Of course you can't remember what it actually does. Well, I'd rather end up as dinosaur food than marry your stupid girdle happy prince. Give that here. Stop! You're going to make a giant mess. Ah! Uh-oh. Bottle breaks, covering them both in fairy dust. Uh-oh. Alona! Wendy! Oh crap. Oh crap. But seriously, oh crap, I'm stuck here. Whee! <laughs> Do you recognize this place? No? Do you? Okay, this isn't good. This is not good. This isn't good. This isn't good. Don't freak out. Everything's fine. There's a dragon. <laughs> it's okay. We're friends. It's all good. That's not good. That's not good. As long as you don't steal any of the dragon's gold, it's all good. Well, not quite a dinosaur, but would any up dragon food work for you? Oh, crap. <laughs> no, why is that the end? Ow. Thank you for your assistance, Finn. <laughs> what has fire breath and likes to eat children? Dragon, 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 dragon. I can officially say that I do not like eating children, okay? I just don't like them. They're too chewy. Oh, I can't believe that's the end. It was a really good game. I really enjoyed that. I give it 10 out of 10. I hope that you have enjoyed this playthrough and I will see you in the next game.